Very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you today about the cardinal sin, the worst sin in the Bible. It's not adultery, it's not murder, it's not hatred, it's not fornication, it's not covetousness. The worst sin in the Bible is unbelief. When there is no belief, God can't work. That was the only time in the Bible that Jesus got angry with the disciples. You wicked perverse generation bring the boy to me and the Lord cast out the demon do you remember it's the only time I want to say to you in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 this is what the Bible says without faith it is impossible to please God and he who believes must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him are you believing for your miracle today? You know, I read a beautiful article the other day by C.H. Spurgeon, that wonderful Baptist preacher, who at the age of 21 years old, they built the London tabernacle for him. I think he could seat 10,000 people. And he said, it is the parent of every sin. Interesting. Unbelief. The parent of every sin. Unbelief keeps the power of the gospel working in a sinner. Wow. So if you cannot believe that the Lord Jesus Christ has forgiven your sins or has got the ability to forgive your sins, you're in trouble. You see, 1 John 1, 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The only one. Look at him, he's even nodding, even, even, even uh, snow is nodding and green. The only one who can forgive sin is the Lord himself. And if you say, Lord, the sin I've committed is so great that you can't even do that, then you've got no hope, folks. Jesus Christ is more than able. Unbelief disables a man from performing any good work. You see, without faith, folks, God doesn't want your effort. He says it's like a filthy rag. I want you to work through faith. Now, St. Augustine said, faith is to believe what you cannot see. And the reward of that faith is to see what you believe. Isn't that amazing? That's what it's about. It is the, the damning okay, sin that unbelief dishonors God. It's the sin that damns us because we don't believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Unbelief causes us to see it, but through unbelief, we cannot taste it or partake of it. What am I saying? I'm saying, and folks, this is a serious thing. If one of your loved ones has gone to heaven, okay, you'll see them in heaven, but you won't be able to partake with them because of your unbelief. See, on the judgment day, everybody will be judged. Those who believe and those who don't believe. The unbeliever will see the believers, but they won't be able to participate with them through unbelief. We must understand that, you and I. We need to increase our faith. You say to me, Angus, how can I increase my faith? I need more faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. That's Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. You need to believe. It's the faith that will set you free. Not faith in faith. No, no, no. Faith in God. I've got a very good memory verse for you. You say I battle to remember verses. You won't forget this one. Mark chapter 11 and verse 22. It simply says, have faith in God. God is going to do it. And He's going to do it through your faith in His Son, Jesus Christ. Some are getting saved, healed, set free. But the unbeliever, because of his unbelief, can only sit there and watch. I've seen it. I've seen people come to the services and they sit back and they smug and they judgmental and they critical and they go in the same way they go out. 
Other people go in, they sicken their bodies, they come out healed. Until next time, goodbye and God bless you.